Hello Ramsey County Fire Chiefs. Thanks to Joe Vaughn and Anton for giving me the opportunity to send this message out to you. Chiefs, I'm a 22 year veteran of the fire service from Wisconsin and I know your time is valuable so I'm going to keep this very short. Um, you get people coming in all the time doing sales pitches. So let's talk about three quick things. Um, the what, the why, and the how. What is it? I have developed the only in the mask directional guidance system for firefighters. It goes inside your mask. It's an eight directional electronic smart compass that incorporates magnetometers, accelerometers, and gyroscopes, and shock sensors, and everything else. So it's the only thing out there. The why? Well, we continue to have firefighters who become disoriented and get injured and sometimes even die when they're inside structure fires. Take a look at the guy in San Antonio, 15 feet from the front door when he died. That was uh, 2008. Look at the guy in Buffalo just a couple weeks ago. He was uh, less than 15 feet, I think, when he received third degree burns and got rushed off to the hospital. The fire captain in Chicago, it goes on and on and on. We have guys inside the structure fires unable to navigate confidently and efficiently when they go inside. The technology, guys, is in our cell phone, it's in our iPads, it's in our trucks, but nobody thought to put it in our mask. So I spent the last uh, three or four years doing research and development. We launched the Northern Star at FDIC last year and was named the top product at the show. We recently placed units with St. Paul, Minneapolis, I had to Rochester tomorrow, uh, Dallas, uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, so on and so forth. So we're really starting to catch some, uh, some traction here, but I want to get it in front of your guys' eyes, and this is a great opportunity that Anton gave me to put that in front of your eyes. So the Northern Star allows us to move more efficiently, and in the event that we have to have one of our firefighters get out of the fire, this allows them to know which way they're going. But it's not every day that we call a mayday. It's not every day that you have an evacuation signal, but it's almost every single fire that you've gone on. Every single fire that I have gone on for sure, as I've sat in that battalion chief's car and saw smoke billowing out of the window and fire conditions not changing and looking at my watch and seeing these guys have been in there for you know, 12, 15 minutes. What in the world are they doing in there? Only to find out that they haven't found the fire yet. Well, why haven't they found the fire yet? They're not moving efficiently. They're not moving confidently. I've been inside of fires and had someone call me and say, Jeff, get to the trolley side and open up the ceiling. We've got fire in the attic only to find myself taking five to 10 minutes to figure out which way Charlie's side is because when I open up a window, I find out I'm on the wrong end. Or how many times have you given uh, interior crew the task of uh, doing a primary search at a Bravo Charlie corner bedroom? Again, they're moving inefficiently. So how does Cardinal Direction then work in conjunction with the incident command system? Well, instead of saying engine 22 is making entry on the Alpha side, we'll be interior with two personnel, which is probably a fairly common radio traffic that you guys get. I'm asking your guys to add one word, and we'll help you with the SLG if you need it. It's simply saying engine 22 is gonna make entry on the Alpha north side of the structure. By saying it, command knows it, everyone else heard it, you locked it in your head because you said it all out. Now, if I know that Alpha is north in this particular case, and you tell me to go Charlie side, if I can't figure out that Charlie side is south, then I should probably get out of the fire service. I'm just not that person that's gonna remain safe. So that's the, that's the what, eight directional compass. That's the why. Um, one more why for you. Project Mayday out of Arizona analyzes every single Mayday call in the United States. They called us up and said, Jeff, we think that we, you can eliminate 50 to 80% of the Mayday calls in the United States overnight by putting a, this compass inside their mask. 50 to 80% of the Mayday calls eliminated. And that doesn't even count for the three different fire chiefs that called me in the last week, one out of the East Coast, big department, saying we have three different episodes in the last 10 days where someone interior got lost or disoriented. They didn't call a mayday, didn't make public news, but I want you to know that these things are happening on a regular basis that your Northern Star is gonna solve that problem. So it's a much bigger problem than those mayday calls that we know we're gonna solve. It's a much bigger number of incidents that we can affect. So how does it go in your mask? It goes inside your mask with a 3M fire rated tape. It sticks on the inside, and I'll try to get close for you, but you can see it attached here in my G1 on the inside. So we use the fire rated tape, and when you, when you open it up, it sort of looks like that on the inside. Down, low, you can put it wherever you want, but we recommend you put it down low, out of your field of vision, and so it's not obstructing your HUD lights. It doesn't have on-off switches, so we don't want you sticking your big fat fingers in there and getting it dirty, which is gonna cause more fog issues. So we use shock sensors and accelerometers. So I simply tap it and give it a shake, and now it's on. That's as easy as that. You can be on air, tap your mask, shake your head. Want to turn it off? Set your mask down. 
go to rehab. Two minutes and 40 seconds later of inactivity, it shuts itself back off. We use a rechargeable battery. Batteries are a pain in our butt in the fire department. When I worked a heavy rescue squad down at our administration building, I had a countless number of batteries that were constantly a pain in my rear end. So we use a lithium ion rechargeable battery, and here's the kicker. As it sits here in the off position, it's off off. No battery draw. This will be a fully charged battery in a month from now. It's not sitting there looking for motion. That's why the shock sensor plays a role. We went ahead and we conducted the NFPA 1981 radiant heat test through the NFPA Intertech Labs to ensure that the heat dissipation across the lens will not jeopardize the lens at the adhesion point. So we, we have that covered. I think we have everything covered. We're in 15 different countries in the first 10 months. I already named some of the bigger departments that are adopting. And since I'm only you know an hour and a half, maybe two hours away from you guys, I wanted to get this in front of you as I've called around to fire chiefs. I talked to Bloomington this morning and Egan and some other places. Uh, they tell me, we just have never heard of you, Jeff. And it's the marketing side of it that I'm struggling with. I need to get in front of more eyes because when I drove down to Chicago and I put this inside, their, put this in their hands, top brass, as soon as they start swiveling in their chair and you see the lights change and they see the accuracy, the light bulb goes off and now they get it. Speaking of accuracy, one more thing. It's not GPS based. A lot of people say it's a GPS based, Jeff. No, GPS doesn't work inside of a hospital. It doesn't work inside of a Walmart. Um, you know you go inside those structures and your cell phone doesn't work. This is a magnetometer based system. Our magnetometer is deadly accurate. Where your cell phone has a magnetometer that costs three to five cents, ours costs much, much more money and has remained accurate in sub basements, high rises, a nuclear submarine. Um, 200 feet on the ocean floor, this thing remains deadly accurate because the only thing worse than not knowing where you're going is being told that you actually do know where you're going and being told wrong. So with all that being said, if you're still listening to the end, I urge you to give us a call today. We go to FDIC here in another, what, six weeks or so, and we are going to blow through our inventory, but I want to take care of the people here in the Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois. I want to take care of us first because we're about to run out of inventory, and we're happy to give some of these to you to play with. Um, at a, a risk-free type of cost. Give us a call. The website's northernstarfire.com, all one word, northernstarfire.com. This is called the Northern Star. Our phone number is 715-225-9823. Go to the website. we got training videos. We have live fire videos. We have uh, instructional videos. They're all there for you to see, northernstarfire.com. Give us a call. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, Chiefs.